What's going on guys, Arcane here, back for another Dribble the Breaker Season 4 slash first anniversary video. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best and worst transfers of uh, Season 4 and the uh, first anniversary here. So, um, I like to do these uh, types of lists pretty much after or when the season is like on its tail end. And believe it or not, uh, the season is actually going to end in less than a month. Uh, season 5 should be starting on February 15th if everything goes according to plan, everything stays on schedule. So I thought it'd be a, uh, you know, fun way to kind of look back on Season 4 by doing the top 5, uh, you know, best and worst lists, starting with the top 5 best and worst transfers. So uh, I think for starting this one off, we'll do uh, the worst list. So the way it goes is for best, number 1 is the best. And then uh, for worst, number 1 is the worst with 5th being not great but you know still kind of bad so uh without further ado let's start with number one at worst and we have rage broly now the reason why i have rage broly as my number one pick is just because his key blasts uh are really not that great i think it i think at level two he has the spammy ball based key blasts but both of his super attacks are either mid or just straight up bad uh powered shell i would definitely throw into the bad category i really do not like powered shell at all the damage is very basic uh the, the startup is super 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 long this is a very difficult uh super attack to land and when you do land it the damage leaves a lot to be desired the cost isn't the, the worst i guess in the world but it's just it's a very very poor super as opposed to everything else that we got in the super uh and gigantic charge is okay it's you know it's a one hitter uh melee super it's not bad it's got a fairly long startup but it's not like the longest in the world but uh you know just for broly as a transfer as a package you know, I can't really argue him being higher. I mean, if we were doing, if we were, you know, writing him based on his active skill, maybe I'd like put him a little higher. Also, that's one thing. When it comes to the transfers, it's really their key blast sets and their super attack set, right? With Broly, you know, you know, instant rise is very good, and I would argue that's meta. But in terms of Broly himself as a transfer, rage Broly, nah, nah. And actually, coming at number two, I have Super Saiyan Broly. Uh, right after rage and the only reason why um you know i i i really do like gigantic meteor man i really do like gigantic meteor uh, unfortunately super saiyan broly has the same issue that uh rage broly has uh except super saiyan broly i think only has good key blast at level one and level two and three are really really bad where rage Broly has good keep at the level two which you could argue might be a little bit better but gigantic meteor is actually a very solid super attack you know it is you know it's slight I, I don't know it, like it's it's difficult but not at the same time it if it makes direct contact with the raider you are getting like practically a full bars worth of damage if not more depending on the raider that you're going up against so it's a very very powerful uh super attack you can find souls in the mix things that get pretty deadly but you know he just literally has the same super attacks he has in rage with practically the same amount of key blast so it really wouldn't make sense to have him that much higher and you could even argue that he didn't really bring any uh significant like skills to the game either or like rage really boost brought over instant rise but again we're rating these guys based on their move set uh and key blast so i'm gonna do let's go ahead to number three and this one might come as a shocker and very disappointing to uh gogeta fans i actually have super saiyan god super saiyan gogeta as a uh, number three uh for worst and the main point of that is just because his super attack uh you know Pool. it's just not that great god punisher is probably one of the worst super attacks in the entire game no meme like no guess like it, it is that bad if you land every single part of this super attack i don't even think you're dealing a bars worth of damage and the likelihood of that happening is so low it is is like abysmally low super kamameha isn't really a preferred super vine it takes a long time to come out the damage is you know okay but you know i i just thought it's not a really super attack i care about the only saving grace that um super saiyan blue gogeta has is soul punisher his key blasts at level one are pretty respectable at level two he has uh vegeta's technique uh, type of key blast and then at level three he has kamameha so key blast wise he's not the worst but uh super attacks is really what's gonna you know hold him back 100 percent i actually have base gogeta at number four Purely because I like the super attacks that he has uh, personally. Now, you could definitely argue that Soul Punisher is better than Spirit Blast. So, you could make that argument. I just think um, the Key Blast, because I think he has Kamamehas at level 2 and 3. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that. But I just feel like his super attacks are just better to choose from. 
and um that's that was pretty much my reasoning for it where like he has two kind of eh and one god awful super attack one eh and then one good one where gogeta base has two good super attacks and decent key blast like level one is nothing to write whole about i pretty sure he has common house at level two you guys have to correct me on that but i know level three he does no level three he does but you could argue that maybe super saiyan blue gogeta wins a little bit just because of the key blast but again these super attacks are really kind of mid especially god punisher being terrible so uh moving right along at number five uh this is actually gonna come as a shocker to a lot of people here and keep in mind this is not because this transfer is bad by any stretch of the imagination this is just me and my preference but i have super saiyan god vegeta now you might be thinking iron that's crazy that's insane why the hell is vegeta in the top five worst and the reason why i say that is because the both the red god forms uh so to you know add some context here super saiyan god goku is my fifth for best i had to put one of them in fifth for best and one of them for fifth uh for worst i i just personally prefer god kamameha over blazing attack and the reason for that is just i feel like there's more combo potential i think you can land two god kamehameha's in a melee combo or in one stun depending on the stun so i find that to be very very powerful as opposed to uh gallic gun or not gallic gun as opposed to blazing attack which i think will break the gauge and even if it doesn't you're definitely not landing two of these in one stun but it's a very good super it's a very good super like if you prefer like uh spamming aoe based supers like by all means this isn't a true vanishing kick combo by the way i don't believe it is where uh god Kamaha absolutely is but in terms of key blasts, they're literally exactly the same so you know it's really a preference like i'm not like if you guys want to say iron you're crazy he should be in top five best where goku should be in top five worst fair fair I, I think you guys could swap either of these two around i just feel like you know they aren't higher than the other two in my opinion but uh you know let's uh you know continue to discuss so at number four for top five best we're hopping to uh i mean i already said that goku is in top five best but i guess i could talk about him a little bit it's pretty much i just really like god kamameha i just really like this super it's one of the fastest super attacks in the game it's uh fairly cost effective uh key blasts are not that great but it's the same thing for vegeta but, but basically both their key blasts suck a level one and two and they get a kamameha or a gallic gun at level three so that's pretty much it uh what else does vegeta actually get in super saiyan god he does get big bang to be fair I mean, it's just that I just really like God Kami, huh? Personally. But so for number four, I have uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, just because I, uh, I think his key blasts are slightly better than uh, Super Saiyan God. Just all around. To be fair, he does have Vegeta's Technique key blasts, which are the spammy key blasts at level three. I think, you know, in my opinion, I think I might actually prefer the Gallic Gun that Super Saiyan God has. It's just a matter of. His key blast sucking at level 1 and 2 for Super Saiyan God for some reason. It's really odd because literally Vegeta has great, fantastic key blasts at every single uh, transformation besides Super Saiyan God. It's very, very odd. But uh, the kit is practically the same on Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. I really think it's really just the, the actual key blast kit that kind of holds him over. And he has Big Bang Attack, which I think is slightly slower than Blazing Attack, uh, which is probably... Ironically, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta's uh, best super attack. But Super Gallic Gun is a very solid super as well. Deals uh, about the same damage as Super Kamehameha to my uh, understanding. I could be wrong on that. But it's slightly faster, so it's easier to land as opposed. But he also has Final Flash, which is pretty solid. Uh, and Gallic Gun, which is solid as well. So I just think, you know, I think he's great for uh, number four. And then for number three, we have Beast Gohan. Now, Beast Gohan's uh, super attacks leave a little bit to be desired. But his key blasts across the board are phenomenal, besides the level 2. The level 2 Masenko is okay. It's mid. It's not, like, god-awful, like Super Saiyan God. But uh, Special Being Kane and Beast is, is a little rough, just because it's high-costing. And the damage is solid, but the startup is just unbelievably kind of long. But if you do land, it is worth. It's just, like, a combination of long startup, the high cost and like the risk of not landing it a majority of the time i just feel like you know that's why beast go on his third and not higher but he does have access to kamameha which is a very respectable super and misenko which is a super attack that does combo into vanishing kick for people that love the vanishing kick combos uh demon ray is fodder absolutely fodder in my opinion it's really a shame of how bad the super is but you know it's you know not the worst thing 
uh, in the world for Beast Gone since he has all these other supers that he can use. But he has the Laser Base Key Blast at level 3. He has the Spammy Balls at level 1. And then at level 2, he has Misankos, which are okay. So for number 2, which honestly, I almost felt like putting at number 1. We have Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, aka Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And he has great, fantastic Key Blasts across the board. And he has one of the best Super Attacks in the game, in my opinion, which is the Times 10 Kaioken God Kamehameha. It basically deals the same amount of damage as a Super Kamehameha, but it has this it has the same speed as God Kamehameha. So I mean if you really look at Super Saiyan Blue, it's basically Super Saiyan God, but better in every way. You get the extra damage, you get the better key blast. And the only negative you could really say about Super Saiyan Blue Goku is the fact that um, there is a long like uh, animation that plays after you launch the super, but it is a pro and a con because sometimes say if you're trying to launch a super attack at a raider and they have iframes, even if you pop the super rather early because there's so much end lag on this super, you might actually be able to get some damage off where if you use the super like God Kamen, huh, and uh, you used it too early, you'd probably miss. Where this has more end lag, it might actually hit towards the end of the super attack being out. It has more active frames is basically what I'm trying to say. And at number one, probably no surprise to anyone, is Orange Piccolo. And this is pretty much just because he has very solid super attacks across the board. But of course, he has the best super attack in the game, which is Special Beam Cannon. So level one, he has the same key blast as Beast Gohan. Basically, he's Beast Gohan, but perfect, if you really want to talk about it. The only thing that, like, I guess wouldn't be considered perfect for him would be his key blast level two, which are special beams, which are okay. But at level three, he has lasers. Level one, he has the spammy balls. And he has special beam, which combos and evasion kick is one of the strongest, deadliest, fastest super attacks of the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why the super attack has not been adjusted and nerfed yet. But lo and behold, take advantage of it while it's still as cracked as it is. Piccolo is the best transfer in the game. Uh, Orange Piccolo is the best uh, transfer in the game. And I think it'll stay that way for a very, very, very long time. Unless we see something absolutely crazy but anyways guys uh that is going to be the list there was no honorable mentions for this list specifically just because we got a perfect number uh we got 10 transfers so there wasn't really anybody i could swap in for honorable mentions because we didn't have any extra transfers here but just to kind of do the rundown again i have orange piccolo as my number one super saiyan blue goku as my number two for best and then for three i have beast gohan and then four i have super saiyan god vegeta and then i have super saiyan god goku for number five then for top five worst I have Super Saiyan God Vegeta, who, again, you could swap with Goku if you like. And then for number four, I have base Gogeta. Number three, I have Super Saiyan God uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta. And then for number two, I have Super Saiyan Broly. And then I have uh, Rage Broly as uh, the number one worst uh, transfer of season four slash the first anniversary. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to be the video. I think we got a pretty solid group of transfers this season. There really weren't any, like god awful transfers besides like broly like rage broly like at least super saiyan broly had like one redeemable like super attack like, that's one thing that all these transfers had even if their key blasts weren't that great uh they had at least you know eh or like good super attacks at the very least to kind of hold them over and i'm especially looking at gogeta when it comes to this conversation it, it is quite sad how much gogeta was butchered in this game dude i'm really really hoping that they drop vegeto or like a super saiyan gogeta they're a lot better because unfortunately the key blasts um i mean i guess the key blasts of super saiyan god uh gogeta is okay but just like the super attacks man i just why in the world is spirit blaster only on base gogeta but not super saiyan blue it, it makes no sense and you can't really use the whole oh well he never used that move when they give gohan Masenko and Kamehameha it's just like it doesn't really add up you know what I mean because this character clearly can use spirit blaster but they just didn't give it to him but yeah guys that is going to be the video let me know in the comments below uh if you think my list is good if you think my list is crazy if there's any transfers that you would switch around uh, are there any transfers that let, uh, left you kind of feeling like you want wanted more probably Gogeta I imagine a lot of you uh what is your favorite transfer of the season? What is your most hated transfer of the season? Which one was the most skippable? Which one you had to get? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the Arcade channel for more uh, videos like these. That being said, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Peace out, dude.